Welcome to our presentation. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you all about the Bangko na Kabayan Pa. Bangko Kabayan. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Rowelyn Joy Montes and my proponents in this presentation are Ms. Kathleen Mar Benson, Mr. Efren Caber, Ms. Ariana May Antila, and Ms. Alona Princess Santa Ana. And as we present, here are some guidelines that will lead you to learn about the Bangko Kabayan. First, the background and history of Bangko Kabayan, the private development bank. Second, determining the bank's ownership structure and board of directors. Third, evaluating the bank's products and services. And lastly, of course, to explain the role of Bangko Kabayan Private Development Bank in the Philippine financial system. Let me introduce you the Bangko Kabayan. In 1957, Bangko Kabayan was originally established and named as Ibaan Rural Bank Incorporated. In its 14th anniversary in 1997, it officially became Bangko Kabayan. Today, Bangko Kabaya Incorporated has 23 branches and one branch light in the provinces of Batangas, Quezon, and Laguna. They are focusing on municipalities with growth potential in the MSME, micro, small, and medium-sized enterprise sector. A deposit base of 51,200 depositors and the sources of over 2.5 billion pesos. It is committed to providing personalized and quality financial products and services in the pursuit of business success. The Banco Kabayan established on August 19, 1957 and was the first known as Ibaan Rural Bank Incorporated. In 1968, they introduced checking account services and participated in various rediscounting programs offered by the BSP and LBP. In 1980, they established a formal human resource department and crafted the first mission and vision statements. In 1990-1996, they expanded branches in nearby provinces. In 1997, they changed its name to Banco Kabaya. In 2001, they adopted microfinance as their major credit product. In 2005, they established two loan collection and disbursement point. In 2007, they adopted the business name Banco Kabaya in their 50th anniversary. In 2011 to 2012, they expanded five more branches in Batangas in in 2016, they launched its new phase as a private development bank. In 2017, they celebrated the 60th anniversary, opened its very first microfinance banking office in Lobo, Batangas. In 2020, they acquired the majority shares by Union Bank Philippines Incorporated through its subsidiaries, City Savings Bank and Union Proper Properties Incorporated. Here are the mission and vision of the Banco Kabayan Development Banks. As you can see, their vision states that with a get centered United Workforce, they will be preferred financial institution of the micro, small, and medium enterprises sector in the countryside delivering relevant products and services with excellence 
And their mission is to become the region's partner in economic development by providing quality financial products and services to micro, small, and medium enterprises and individuals in the communities they serve. Through continuous growth, they will provide optimum return to their shareholders as well as opportunities for further employees to develop themselves as fulfill holistic individual aware of the important role they play the lives of others. The core values of Banco Kabayan Development Bank are the following. V is for belief in divine prudence, means as inspiration of Banco Kabayan as an economy of communion enterprise which is based on the culture of giving. I is for integrity which means respect and adherence to ethical values. S for service means as excellence reciprocity. U is for unity, which means relationship building. And last C for commitment to community development research and sharing. I'll talk about the ownership structure in the board of directors of Banco Kabay to proceed with the discussion. As you can see in the chart, Banco Kabay now has a combined 70% ownership stake from fully and subsidiaries of Canada of which CP Savings holds 39% and UBP Investment Corporation owns 21%. Mrs. Maria Teresa Ganson holds 14.12% of the share in the Bank of Kabayan, followed by Mr. Francis Ganson with 6.98% and Mr. Gregory Ozayata with 5.89%. When it comes to the Board of Directors, the chairman of the board is appointed by members of the board and provides leadership and governance to ensure that the body discharge its mandate effectively. The chairman sees to it that all members promote the highest standards of integrity in the board as a whole, decides on matters collectively in order to steer the bank towards a strategic direction, ensuring the achievement of its goals. The executive director is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the bank while non-executive and independent directors are those who are not part of the day-to-day -day management operations. Banco Kabayan Board is composed of nine members, the majority of whom are non-executive. As you can see from this organizational structure, Mr. Lorenzo Ocampo is the chairman of the board along with Mrs. Beatrice Romo, the president and chief executive officer of Banco Kabayan. Following them are Mrs. Maria Teresa Ganson, Mr. Francis Ganson, Mr. Romeo Cagalingan, Mr. Chodoro Panginiban, Mr. Norberto Dilen, Mr. Carlos Balaari, and Mr. Alan Jan Tantoto, who are non-executive and independent directors. This is Mr. Lorenzo Ocampo. Serves as the President, CEO, and Director of Seed Savings, as well as the Chairman of the Board of Banco Cabana. He also serves as a director for a number of businesses, including First Agro Industrial Rural Bank Incorporated, Banana Fintech Services Corporation, where he formerly served as a president in the Philippine Resources Savings Bank. He also serves as the CEO and president of Way Better Incorporated. From 2005 until 2018, he served as a director of Family Alliance Incorporated, Margarita Land Incorporated, and East Offices Incorporated, as well as a member of the Board of Trustees of the World Tech Training Center. He also holds the position of Chairman of AV President and CEO of Pet Plans Incorporated and PetNet Incorporated from 2003 to 2018, and Ocampo ADR Teaming Insurance Broker Incorporated from 2005 to 2017. And this is the President and CEO of Banco Kabayan, Mrs. Beatriz Romulo. She graduated from St. Paul College with a degree in Economics and the Dineo Graduate School with a Master's degree in Business Administration. Besides FinScore Incorporated, she also serves on the boards of UVX Philippines Corporation, Strongview Incorporated, 
Fetnet Incorporated and UBP Investment Corporation. She also serves as a senior advisor and consultant for Union Bank of the Philippines. From 2006 to until 2017, she also held executive vice president positions at Union Bank of the Philippines, PR Saving Banks, and Progressive Bank. So now we proceed to the product and services of Banco Cabaya. And these are deposit products, loan products, microfinance products, and other products. First, let's talk about the deposit products. We all know that deposit products are consist of a wide variety of financial products whereby the clients deliver which is the deposit fund which is the in cash or digitally with the financial institution and may earn a financial return depending on the deposit type and duration. Also, it provides a high interest and peace of mind for their clients. Banco Kalbayan offers the following products such as the regular savings, basic savings, regular time deposit, time deposit plus regular account, automatic transfer account, and the last one is the Vivo account. So first, regular savings. These savings accounts are primarily used for safekeeping of funds and evidence by the passbook. The next one is basic savings. This savings account is is for all individuals whose total asset size falls under the micro with no existing deposit account yet in the bank of Kabaya. And the next one is regular time deposit. The minimum placement of 10,000 pesos and have a minimum term of 30 days. Also, the interest rate of it is higher than the savings account's deposit. The next one is time deposit. In this deposit is a long term than the regular time deposit with an interest twice the existing rate of regular time deposit at the time of placement. And the minimum amount that you can deposit is 100,000 pesos and the term of placement is 5 years. The next one is regular current account and the next is automatic transfer account and the last one is Bibo Kido account. And Bibo Kido account is a savings account for children ages 7 up to 12 evidence by the passbook and the initial minimum placement of this is 100 pesos. The second product and services of Banco Kabayan is loan product. When we heard loan, loan is a financial product that allows the user to access a fixed amount of money at the outset of transactions with the condition that this amount plus the agreed interest be returned within a specified period. Also, loan product offer for the small to medium enterprises as well as agricultural business. Banco Kabayan offers the following loan such as agricultural loan, SME loan, NAA plus, housing loan, and transport vehicle and equipment in short TVE. The agricultural loan is a loan for the cultivation, development, and improvement of agricultural land, raising of poultry and livestock, and improvement of fish fund and other development activities related to agriculture. The next one is SME loan. SME loan is a granted to small and medium enterprise engaging in trading, business, manufacturing, and services. The next one is housing loan. Housing loan granted for individual for housing purposes, which may be for the acquisition, construction, or improvement of the residential unit. The next one is a NAA plus is to cater the financial needs of borrower whose business is agriculture in nature but does not qualify to either NAA or the other agricultural loan product features. The loanable amount ranges from 200k thousand up to 900 thousand and the last one is transport vehicle and equipment in short TVE is to finance an acquisition of brand new and second-hand transport vehicle either commercial or private use and equipment. The third product and services of Banco Kabayan is microfinance loan products. Microfinance is a lending program to assist individual or a group finance starting business, housing improvements, educational expenses plus many more. Banco Kabayan offers the following microfinance loan products such as Kabayan Loan, Kabayan Plus Loan, Capitan Loan, Educational Loan, and the last one is Housing Loan. First is Kabayan Loan. The purpose of this Kabayan Loan is to finance the additional working capital requirements. The loan amount varies minimum of 10000 and the maximum of 150000 And the next one is Kabayan Loan Plus. Kabayan Loan Plus is, to, is for financing of working capital for the acquisition of fixed assets of gratitude Kabayan borrowers. And the loan amount varies minimum of 150000 and the maximum is 300000 And the next one is Capitan Loan. 
Capital. Capital loan is a group of lending. This is a of product offered to the entrepreneurial poor, especially women, so that they can have access to credit and other financial services. And the next one is educational loan. Educational loan is an incentive credit window for the existing microfinance clients to, trade, to finance tuition and or entrance fees, graduation fees for book reviews, book, school supplies and uniforms or premium for educational plans. And the last one is Gabay Housing Loan. Gabay Housing Loan is an incentive loan granted for microfinance clients and depositors for home improvements, repairs or expansion with a term of 6 months up to 1 year. And also, Bangko Kabayan has the other services included the following. First, the ATM provider. Next, the remittance services. Next is fund transfer. And the next is loan payment channels. And the last one is the bills payment. Here are the rules of development bank. One, provide medium and long-term finance to the industrial and agricultural sector. It means it helps clients provide market-based financial services and fund long-term green investment to support sustainable agriculture, uh, agri-food value chain. Two, perform term lending invest in securities in another activities. It means unlike banks or credit onions, these investors perform only one is specific tasks they lead money for profit three promote savings investment habit in the public it means it is very important for people to invest and save money during the time of crisis here are the contribution of the Kabanko Kabayan development banks one is provision of funds means is is an account which record a present liability of an entity. Two, employment generation means is very important to create job and improve income foundations because creating job and the home is crucial for development. Three, and the industrialization acceleration means is the period of social economic change that transform a human group to an industrial society from an agrarian society involving the extensive money manufacturing reorganization of an economy for ag agriculture and rural development means is the process of improving the quality of life and economic well-being of people living in rural areas often relatively isolated and sparsely populated areas. The last one is development of housing sector means is, is in the business to earn their gift because building homes is a costly business. When search most real estate, developer will go to the market segment where they can maximize their profit, particularly the high-end and luxury state sector. And here are the references of our presentation.